thanks. I forgot my keys here and I was worried that you weren't going to be awake. <laughs> Look at me that you were. Yeah, I don't know where they are. I thought I had taken them with me, but then when I got here, I was like looking everywhere and they're not on me. But I could swear that I put them in my pocket. I hope I didn't lose them while I was out. What? Oh, yeah. The, the concert is still going on, yeah, but... I... I wanted to come home early. No, the, the concert was fine. It was great, actually. You should have come with us. They were unbelievable in person. You would have loved it. I... I just... Um... I wanted to come home early, it's all. No, nothing, nothing happened really. I just want to come home. <laughs> it's the truth, honestly. <laughs> no, I didn't get sick in the bathroom or get kicked out of the venue. <laughs> nothing is wrong, I swear. Yes. Really? Can't I just want to come home early? <laughs> Is there something wrong with that? <laughs> well, there's a first time for everything. Maybe I want to hang out with you more than I want to stay at the concert. Did you consider that? Of course I do. <laughs> Is it really so surprising that I want to hang out with you? Sure, I was having fun at the concert, but... I wanted to spend time with you more. Being with you... <laughs> it beats anything and everything else. And I didn't want to wait until the concert was over to see you. <laughs> well, I'd hope so. <laughs> it would be super awkward if we were living together and you didn't like hanging out with me. Still, it's nice to hear every now and then. <laughs> I'll admit, you've kind of made me a fan of verbally expressing affection. I know I'm still more touchy-feely than anything, but it's really nice to hear those kind of things. Of course I do. I came home to spend time with you, didn't I? So, fill me in. What are we watching? And what's happened so far? Oh. That sounds awful. I need to see it. What's the rating on it? Oh my god. That low? This is going to be great. And by great, I mean unbelievably bad. Um, Before you start it up again, let me go change to somewhere comfortable clothes and grab a blanket. I plan on fully enjoying the dumpster fire there we're about to win this. Okay, this is much better. It feels so good to get out of my clothes so I can put on some sweatpants and wrap myself up in a blanket. You got any snacks or... Am I gonna have to get up from my comfy spot right here and grab something from the kitchen? <laughs> oh my god, this is so many of my favorite things in one bowl. How many different types of candy did you even get? <laughs> I 
I think that's literally all of my favorites. <laughs> You're spoiling me way too much. <laughs> no. <laughs> you absolutely should not stop. <laughs> that's not what I was saying at all. I was actually gonna say that you should do it more. Oh. Who is it? Don't, don't answer it. Listen, just, do, just don't answer it. Because I said not to. Isn't that reason enough? Yeah, I know they went to the concert with us tonight, but... I don't want you to answer their call, okay? Shit. I'm sorry, I... I didn't mean to snap at you like that, I... I just... Please... Can can we just forget that I did that? I, I won't act like that again. I'm not acting weird. I'm fine. No, nothing is wrong. Everything is... <sighs> everything is just fine. You wanna know what's going on? What's going on is that I'm an idiot. A complete idiot who doesn't know what I have until I'm about to lose them to someone else. I don't even have the guts to say something, anything, to get my feelings out there and it's going to cost me everything. Even now, as I'm saying all this, I can't find the right words to say. You're right. You're right. I'm getting too worked up for this. I... I can't just go off like that. Especially when... You don't even know any of what's been happening. You always know just what to say, don't you? You always know the exact words that will calm me down. Hold your hands. <laughs> you really do know me too well. Yeah, that would make me feel a lot better, honestly. Alright, so... I guess... The easiest way to explain all of my weird behavior is to start with why I left the concert tonight. So, everything started when there was a break between bands. We all decided to go grab a drink while we were waiting, so we went over to the bar to hang out for a while. We were just shooting the breeze, talking about whatever it came to our minds. Somewhere along the way, the conversation drifted to people that we find attractive, like celebrities and all that. But the more we talked, the more we started to talk about people that we know that we find attractive, you know, like co-workers or neighbors, friends, those types of people. Then someone mentioned you. Actually, the same stupid person who tried to call you just now. They kept talking about you about how hot you are, about how much they'd like to take you out, about how they think that they have a chance with you. Seriously, like, they wouldn't shut up about you. It was starting to get on everyone's nerves. Then this cotton half-wit opens their stupid mouth to ask me if I could set them up with you. 
I told him that there was no way in hell that I was going to do that. But they said that they were going to try to hit you up anyway. I tried telling them that they shouldn't even try. But they insisted, saying that they knew that you were into them and would be happy to get with them. Something about the way that they were talking was pissing me off so much. Who the hell do they think they are, talking like that? But then, I asked them what gave them the right to talk about you like that. Like, like they had the right to. They asked me why I had a problem with it and they asked me if we were if we were together like that, and when I said that we weren't, they said that they were going to get with you since you're not taken. Exactly. And I tried telling them that, but they just wouldn't listen. You would never date anyone who talked about you like that, right? And I should know. The amount of idiots with superiority complexes that you've turned away is probably record-breaking and this idiot was bound to be another one of them. <laughs> right. But then... They said that I was just jealous because they were going to steal you away from me. And I know they meant that in a they'll be spending more time with you than I will away. But I couldn't help but to think of it more in a I don't know a romantic way, I guess. Like they're freezing. It made it seem like we were, you know, together as a couple. Oh god. I know this probably sounds ridiculous, but I was, well, I am jealous. I'm jealous of someone who thinks that they can have a chance with you, even though... They clearly don't. All because they were even thinking about getting closer to you. Seriously, like, who the hell do they think they are? Trying to claim you for themselves like that? And <sighs> so stupid. What do they even know about you? Do they even know you beyond what you look like? Because I doubt it. They're just going around and trying to say that they're your perfect match when they don't know shit about you. What do they know about you? Better yet, what do they know about you that I don't? Hell, I'd make a better partner for you than they ever would. I know you better than they do. I'm your best friend and I care about you so fucking much. And I've loved you for so damn long that I don't know what to do with myself because what if you don't want me back? I'm only just now realizing that I don't want anyone else because no one else could even begin to compare to you. But I don't know if you feel the same way about me. <sighs> Fuck. I'm just gonna say it. I'm yours. I am, and I have been yours for for years now. I just I didn't know it because I am an idiot in love, and it took the thought of you loving someone that wasn't me for me to pull my head out of my ass and realize that I need to do something, so... I'm just gonna spit it out now, and if you hate me after this, 
I'll deal with that later, but at least I tried. I love you. I love you so much and I am an idiot for not realizing it sooner. Even if you don't have any feelings for me, I just need to tell you that, well, like I said, I'm yours. You have my heart in the palm of your hands and I don't want it anywhere else. It's yours. It belongs to you. I want you to have it. Doesn't matter what you do with it, so long as you're the one who has it. But if you don't want it, I, I would understand. You don't have to keep it if you don't want it, just, just tell me. Do you, do you want my heart? Wait, really? You do? So, you've had these feelings for that long and you just never brought them up? Well, <laughs> you should have said something. We could have talked about this sooner. Hell, maybe we'd be even going out by now. Hints? Like what? If you'd done that, I'm I'm sure I would have. Oh. Oh wait. Oh my god. All the way back then. You really do love me. Holy, you you have feelings for me. Don't you well obviously me? You actually love me. Oh my god. I can't believe it. <laughs> this feels like a dream. The person who I'm lovesick over is telling me that they love me too. <sighs> so, what are we? <laughs> I know, I know. Well, I had to ask. Boyfriend and girlfriend? <laughs> that makes me so happy. I would love to be boyfriend and girlfriend. Mm -hmm. And we have the rest of the night together now. Aren't you happy that I came home early from the concert? Do you still care about watching this show? <laughs> no. <laughs> Me neither. What do I want to do? Mm. Great question. Well... There is something that I do want to do. But... I don't know if you'll like it. Well, actually, <laughs> I'm pretty sure that you like it, but I'll have to see. What is it? Do you not want to guess? Well, you see. It's something that I've been wanting to do for so long. Ever since we moved in together, I would think of doing this with you. And <laughs> it would keep me awake so many nights. You still don't know what I'm talking about. Are you sure? As naive as always, huh? 
Well, I guess I can show you. What do you have to do? Don't worry about it, baby. All you have to do is lay back on the couch and enjoy it.